Now, before I get into the other types of cards, we'll discuss how the gameplay actually works. First off, you don't deck out. You do not deck out in this game. You reshuffle. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember that aspect of it, I believe. Is you had to reshuffle. When battle occurs, say I have my PC out and they have their creature out. Now it's two to five. I'll shift it this way. It's two to five. So immediately you're thinking, okay, well if he swings at her, you know, she's gonna go down. Well, there is an added element to combat. All cards, you may have noticed this, it's kind of hard to miss, have numbers up at the top. When you do combat, both you and your opponent flip over the top card, and you add whatever numbers in that top corner to the battle number, and those cards go in the discard. Now that, that made deck building immense. Like, you could have a creature with a stable three power, but has one just, you know, just a one. And if you have a deck with just ones, even if they're potent characters, you're still only buffing them by one. Where your opponent can have a crappy character, but can flip over a three or four and be perfectly fine. Now the last type. This is where tournament play actually comes into play. Last type are level up cards. You got these by playing in tournaments, and the better you did, the quicker you got them. Every tournament, you gained experience, which is just what it sounds like. You gain experience depending on how you did in the tournament. And it's all computerized, you know, you can check your points and all this. And when you level up, they sent you a level up card. And then that same packet as level up card, they sent you a level up event. Now these events came specifically with these cards because in order to use them you had to spend you know two levels for this one. So at the beginning of a game you'd put your levels out, put them aside. And if I wanted to play him, I would need to spend those two levels. So I spent them, I played the card. These cards were usually really really good, but since you had to spend your levels and I can't remember if there was a cap or not to the levels you could have at one point that would limit how many you could play. So like the investigator card, you had to spend two levels. Reveal your opponent's hand, you may discard any revealed cards. Okay, so how is that bad? Well, you kinda refilled your hand every turn. Which I believe it was five. Because you could only play a limited amount of cards each turn, so you really didn't deck out quickly. Um, I believe it was, you could play one PC and one creature and any number of items. This is all off the top of my head, mind you. So I, I've, I've since lost a rule book, so I really can't double check myself here. But this game I got really serious with. I uh, met a couple of uh, other card gamers on campus. The uh, Gamers Guild president at the time also became obsessed with this, so that's kind of what the Gamers Guild played alongside usually uh, Masquerade, and which I never got into ever. I sold the books in my store, but never got into Masquerade. Um, and the Masquerade card game, and Magic, obviously, because everyone gets into Magic. Alright, uh, next up we'll be doing...